Genesis. Traditionally, both Jews and Christians believe Moses is the author and compiler of Genesis and of each of the first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch. Genesis was written during Israel's 40 years of wandering in the wilderness, in the time between the crossing of the Red Sea and the entrance into Canaan. The early history of man and of Israel. Genesis, which means origin, is divided into two parts. The first is the account of the creation of the world and the beginning of the human race with Adam and Eve and the history of their descendants. The second part of Genesis concerns the early history of Israel, starting with the three patriarchs of the Hebrews, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and the 12 tribes that were their descendants. God created all things good, and although his creation rebelled and sinned against him, he still loves and cares for his people. Genesis covers the longest time span of any book in the Bible. Stretching from the creation of the world to the coming of the Hebrews to Egypt. The first three chapters of Genesis are reflected in the last three chapters of Revelation, the Alpha and Omega of writings, given by inspiration of God. Genesis chapter one, the creation. In the beginning, God made heaven and earth. The earth was invisible and unfinished. And darkness was over the deep. The Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw the light. It was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. God called the light day. The darkness he called night. And there was evening and morning. One day. Then God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the water. And let it be divide the water from the earth and water from the water. And it was so. Thus God made the firmament and God divided the water under the firmament from the water above the firmament. So God called the firmament heaven and God saw that it was good. And there was evening and morning the second day. Then God said, let the water under heaven be gathered together into one place and let the dry land appear. And it was so. The water under heaven was gathered into its places and the dry land appeared. So God called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters 
he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the earth bring forth the herb of grass, bearing seed according to its kind and likeness. Let the fruit tree bear fruit whose seed is in itself according to its kind on earth. It was so. Thus, the earth brought for the herb of grass, bearing seed according to its kind and likeness. The fruit tree bore fruit, whose seed is in itself according to its kind on earth. God saw that it was good. So, evening and morning were the third day. Then God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of heaven for illumination to divide day from night. Let them be for signs and seasons and for days and years. Let them be for illumination in the firmament of heaven to give light on the earth. It was so. Then God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the stars also. God set them in the firmament of heaven to give light on the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from the darkness. God saw that it was good. So, evening and morning were the fourth day. Then God said, let the waters bring forth creatures having life and let birds fly above the earth across the face of heaven's firmament. It was so. Thus, God made great sea creatures and every living thing that moves with which the waters abounded according to their kind and every winged bird according to its kind. God saw that it was good. God blessed them saying, be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let birds multiply on earth. So evening and morning were the fifth day. Then God said, let the earth bring forth the living creature according to its kind. The quadrupeds, the creeping things and the wild animals of the earth according to their kind. It was so. So God made the wild animals of the earth according to their kind, the cattle according to their kind, and all the creeping things on earth according to their kind. God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of heaven, over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that moves on the earth. So God made man in the image of God. He made him male and female. He made them. Then God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply 
fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea over the birds of heaven and over every living thing that moves on the earth then god said behold i have given you every seed bearing herb that sows seed on the face of all the earth and every tree whose fruit eel seed to you it shall be for food i also give every green plant as food for all the wild animals of the earth for all the birds of heaven and for everything that creeps on the earth in which is the breath of life it was so then god saw everything he had made and indeed it was very good so evening and morning were the sixth day <laughs>